and welcome to CoinGeek Backstage. And I'm here with Dr. Issa Bastaki. How is the event going? Well, it's going well. Very technical sessions and I think it's excellent. I mean, this is what we wanted because it's an IEEE event. It has to be very technical. And what was your main takeaway from some of the speeches earlier? Well, uh, one of the th takeaways is that IP version 6 is very important for blockchain and even for the world because uh, it, uh, IP version 4 has already been exhausted. And I think we need to fa move faster towards implementing IP version 6 because it's, it's like uh, 2 to the 128, which is much more than 4 billion addresses that IP version 4 has. And blockchain is important because it's a point-to-point -point or end-to-end -end connection. So every person can do any transaction without moving, going toward the mediators. And this is something very important for the blockchain technology. It's a technology that will prevail, even though it's at, at its infancy. But in the future, I think it will be the beginning of the Industrial Revolution 5.0. Blockchain will be the one will do it at that time. The other thing is that um, implementing in the universities in the country, I think the University of Dubai implemented blockchain for the certificates, degrees, and also high college of technology. So we had the two that we implemented blockchain. I think these are all the beginning. And in UAE we have, I don't know the percentage, some of maybe 40% of IP version 6. I think slowly and slowly they'll go to 100%, but it takes time. This is the things that we got out of it. One of the things also is people are afraid that a blockchain is a technology that couldn't be stable for a while, something else could come. I think blockchain is here to stay, but I think we need to do changes in blockchain to make it happen. So yes, it will uh, prevail, but we, if it stand, it's really premature, I call it, or it's at infancy. Things need to be improved in, uh, in blockchain. It will happen soon, and I think the world will be ready for it in the coming five years to have blockchain in every transaction we do. And this will help actually not to have any credit cards. It will be completely uh, outphased. Uh, you talk about banks, that means everything will happen without mediator. And there will be a problem. And I think there will be some resistance from banks and from other places not to expedite the process, but I think it will happen soon. And you mentioned youth in your speech. How do you inspire students and youth at the University of Dubai to be interested in ICT and blockchain? I think uh, the industrial uh, uh, revolution 4.0 actually depends 100% on technology. And I think if somebody wants to look at the future, they have to go into technology. Even finance, they call it FinTech now. Marketing, they call it digital marketing. There is an Internet of Things, which is a billions now. It could go to 20 to 50 billion in coming three, four years. 50 billion and more IoT in the world. So this will only serve the serve it, which is IP version six. And 5G is implementing that IoT. That's one of them. The artificial intelligence, which will be a part of every transaction in the world. Then you talk about nanotechnology. You talk about 3D printing. You talk about big data. You talk about information security. One day there will be devices, IOTs, to be in the body moving around and trying to fix things in your body. If it's been hacked, then you could hack the whole body. So security is the priority of the future. And information security, if it doesn't happen correctly, will not be implemented. I think everything is dependent on this kind. 3D printing, talking about drones, talking about robotics. All these will be a part of the Industrial Revolution 5.0. Blockchain is one of them. So students should make sure that they serve the market of the future by going to those degrees that actually will benefit them for present and for the future. Well, thank you. It's all very exciting, isn't it? It's very important to, to make sure that universities also are at par uh, with what uh, is going on in the world and they have to make sure that the, the graduate uh, students who are armed with techn technology in all, even in law, in business, whatever you say, it has to be their technology somewhere. Plus, something we don't forget, we talk about green economy, things will go into green. I think green tech and green things will be a part of the future degrees. Thank you. Thank you for your time today and thank you for watching. Data is double-edged. Wield it well and build your place in tomorrow. But trust it blindly and risk watching your progress crumble. Because much of the data we rely upon isn't reliable at all. At Enchain, we believe in data. But we put no faith in it. Instead, we build tools that enable enterprises to trust the data upon which they rely. 
Enchain. Data without question. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.